Hello, this is John D. Callahan. Many years ago, I wrote a book called Science and Christianity. It's about 120 pages in five chapters. I later created a internet version and we'll go through that in just a moment. I always had a scientific disposition and I went on to graduate from UC Berkeley with a degree in astronomy and physics and I worked for JPL in our space program. However, I became a Christian in my late teens, having a Catholic background and later becoming very non-denominational in my viewpoint and being involved with many different denominations. However, I was very committed to the principles of Christianity, the belief in the deity of Jesus, and the born again experience and having a relationship with God. However, when I became involved with churches, I, I found out that most have some belief in creationism. Not all, but I would say the majority of Christians hold a view of creationism, either young earth, old earth, or intelligent design, or a mixture of those beliefs. And this was not really acceptable to me um, because you really can't deny the basics of secular science. It's just based on science. It's not influenced by religion. It's through science, understanding that the earth is four and a half billion years old and the universe is billions of year old, years old, etc. And evolution occurred, a Darwinian evolution and so I reconciled those two things in my book. So I fully accept Christianity, but I fully accept secular science. So this is a reconciliation of Christianity with accepted science, mainstream secular science. Now, the book is um, available online. You can get it in many places, just search Science and Christianity Callahan. I also will have links in the description below. Now, book starts out with the, the fundamentals here, basics. It, the electronic version is very nice, by the way, because you can just click on one of the links in the um, table of contacts and you can go right to the chapter and you can click on a link below the chapter headline to get title, to get right back to the table of contents. So we have introduction. Chapter one, is the Bible perfect? Well, no, the Bible's not perfect. I claim it's the greatest book ever written, and it was written by men who knew God and were inspired by God, but it's not perfect. They did not lose their humanness when they wrote it. So I describe, I did talk about this, and is the Bible perfect? No, it's not, but it's still a very valuable historical and religious document and the greatest book ever written. Now this is, um, second chapter is a lesson in astronomy. And um, here I talk about the vastness of the universe and it is just unimaginable in its vastness, even more so than I think I talk about in the book when we consider the entire universe with uh, the unobservable and observable universe. So I just talk about the vastness of the universe here. And then chapter um, three is who are God and Satan really? So. If the universe is fundamentally perverted, which it is, and the natural laws have always existed per our current physical universe, then evil must have existed a long time. And so therefore that puts the creation of the angels before the creation of the material universe, which makes them very old and very powerful. And they are supernatural which means they supersede the natural world. 
So I talk about that. Then I say a lesson in life upon the earth. So I talk about evolution here. And then chapter five, the final chapter, I, I say, who is man in light of all of that? Well, man is, man is an evolved being in a very vast, incomprehensibly complex universe, but finite, created by God, that's fundamentally perverted by a very powerful supernatural world that was in existence before the creation of the natural world. And then we arose in light of that. Now, we don't understand everything, obviously. Paul says, I, I look through a glass darkly. And then I talk about the scientific method in some of the earlier chapters. However, we, we know we live in this extremely vast, complex universe created by God and that we, we are evil, yet there is a, we have a Savior, uh, Jesus Christ, who is deity. And so this talks about our place in the universe and the synergism of our relationship with God and our need for him in this fallen universe. So then I have a summary, a little about me, a little about the back cover. So that's my book, Science and Christianity. Again, it's very widely available on the internet. Um, there are, just search uh, Science and Christianity, Callahan or John D. Callahan. The link, there are links in the description. And um, that that is my book.